So here is Janina's new abode, cabin with a running water or septic, should be interesting. So here we see poor Shadow in the car fighting off the black flies. Hi pup! And the black flies are many and mighty. And uh, here is the the woods down below in the fire pit. The um, this is a pile of mostly fake paneling that I ripped down. A rather large driveway because it was a hunt camp, and they put gravel over the grass to accommodate all the. Uh, vehicles that were coming to stay here. So down there is partly mine as well. The outhouse that you get to uh, visit when you come to stay. The place was called Camp Redline previously. I put on a new roof, thank goodness. There's a chimney for the wood stove. Currently we enter through the woodshed, which is poorly lit, but there you can see the water tank that's never been used. Some uh, foam mattresses that are going off to a new home. And here we enter into the main building. Here you can see the wood stove that they put in to replace the um, the wood cook stove, which I'll show you shortly. I'm not very happy with this length of pipe that goes along the ceiling to the hole, so I'll be moving that to right under the hole eventually. You see through those two by fours at the end, that's the bedroom where I took down eight bunk beds and the remains of the eight bunk beds are in my lumber store over here. So that's the main door that you saw from the outside with the little deck. Those ladders are going to a new home. They came from the bunk beds, the wonderful electrical panel. And the piece de resistance, which unfortunately right now is covered with a lot of stuff, is this beautiful, absolutely exquisite. Let's move this chair. Look at those tiles, like Art Deco tiles. Sorry, I'm going to make a bit of noise. And there's, there I am in the mirror that came with the stove. So it's a beaut from the beach. Foundry Company Limited in Ottawa. And it was the Maple Leaf model, which was their signature model. It has a water reservoir down there. Take a look at those tiles. Isn't that exquisite? A few of them are broken, unfortunately. Nice little warming cabinet above the stove. And then that section down there, that door is where they put the wood in to fire up the for cooking. It has a little, uh, this little thing moves back and forth and opens up the holes so the ash can go into the can below. So it would go into this tin and you'd pull out the tin with the ash. They left a beautiful fridge, all rusty, but I cleaned that today, so it's not as bad as it looks. So, as you can see, the walls are, are solid wood. There's no insulation, but it was all covered up with that kind of fake paneling, which was all warped and looked pretty hideous. The, uh, the lighting is very high-tech, as you can tell. Today, one of my jobs was to clean the fan 
and the lighting. So that you can see is pretty clean. And I'll show you the one in the bedroom. So we just laid a new floor in here today because the floor was not quite level. So we leveled it out a bit. And But you can sort of see what I had to deal with when you look at this one. All that dirt and grunge and grime and gunk. And so this is the door that leads out onto the road. You can see that we've um, we've spray foamed a lot of the gaps. And there's our new floor. Still not 100% level, but a good two inches higher than it was before. So that's the wall, the wood wall, which is quite amazing. All that wood is worth probably what I paid for the house if I were to sell the wood. So here we are with a view from the bedroom into the whole space. That, that wall was exposed on the living room side and it was full of beer, memorabilia, and basically junk, I call it, but uh, beer stuff, a lot of beer stuff, posters for Mike's Lemonade and a beer clock, etc. So, so we've set up, we've cleaned up this table and chairs, six chairs I think were there. There's a beautiful old bench that currently is being used to store things. And then here's my store of, of lumber, and that came just from taking apart eight bunk beds. And we've used some of that already to raise the floor. So I'll show you the kitchen cabinets. So there again is the door we came in. To the left of that is the bathroom. And then the kitchen area. Windows all need replacing. So there was an upper cabinet which has been taken down. The gas stove. And there's a propane furnace. Here you can see some of the pictures that were on the wall prior to them covering it up with fake paneling. Those were all probably here when it was a community hall. Goodness knows how long ago. So there's some interesting little charts here. And here's some more pictures and um, there you can see out to the garden where I planted some onions and all of this garden out here will be my veggie garden it's just a small patch there's some more onions waiting to be planted here's my here's my faucet and water that was brand new, that water container, and came with the house. And I'll show you some more photos that were on the wall. So you can see even in the bathroom here. Wildlife. And then in the next room... Some more photos. And then a few more. So that's my new abode and the fancy panel box with fuses. Nice old clock that got left. So that's the time this afternoon on Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. So with that, I'm signing off and heading home to rest up for another day tomorrow.